How's it going everybody? Ryan with Allen Steel and today we are going to be removing carbides from stump grinder teeth using the forge. Normally I do this kind of work with an oxyacetylene torch but I think I'm going to try it with a forge for the first time and I think I can do a bunch at once and save me some time in the shop tomorrow. I don't have any oxyacetylene here so I can't really add them on because when you add the carbides onto it you want to be able to watch how the silver solder binds and how the tooth moves to make sure it's fully connected inside the gullet which is right here the shape of the housing right here that silver solder we're talking about is that silver line right there so what we're doing is heating it up to critical that way this becomes liquid again and we can remove this carbide piece so what we're going to do while the forge is warming up i'm going to take a wire wheel and we're going to clean all these up and remove a lot of the dirt and grime and stuff off these teeth and i'm not going to keep the nut on there so we're going to pull this guy right off like that and it'll save us some time in the shop tomorrow when we change out these teeth on our stump grinder so let's see how it goes up all the dirt off them. It's time to throw them into the forge and start warming them up so we can pop these carbides off. Here we go. critical the carbide falls just falls right off silver solder is at its melting point so now what we're gonna do very gently because it's at critical so we don't want to hurt the threads we're just gonna clean off any of the slag from the silver solder clean out the gullet That's it. Nothing to it. Well, I think that worked pretty darn well. Um, with oxyacetylene, of course, I can only do one of these guys at a time, but with the forge, I could do four or five, just based on the size footprint I have and to pull these carbides off, and it worked pretty darn well. And that's the carbide. And the gold you're seeing, that's what the silver solder is. That's what holds on this carbide, and it fits in like so. But I think that's how I'll be taking these apart from now on because that worked slicker than hell. But thanks for joining me, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give me a like. Give me a thumbs up. And if you guys want to see more of this kind of content in the future, let me know. And as always, keep the forges lit and the anvil singing. Thanks for joining me, guys. See ya.